Hi, my name is Leke, and welcome to the Icon Guide. And the Icon Guide is a recording series, and in this recording series, you'll be listening to seven different Icon Prize winners, and they'll be sharing with you their experiences and how they passed the Icon exam and how they became prize winners. And if you're listening to this, I hope that you find within the contents of this recording ways and helpful suggestion counsel on how you're going to pass your exam. Like I said, you won't be listening to me alone. You'll be listening to six other ICANN prize winners, and they are... My name is Oluadari Caroline Omolala, ICANN prize winner, best in advanced audit and assurance, second overall best in May 2022 diet, best female qualifying candidate, and the best qualifying candidate ICANN May diet 2022. My name is Chinaza Cynthia Okongu. I'm an ICANN merit prize winner, the third overall base of the May 2022 diet professional level exam. Hi, my name is Chukemeka Nachi, an ICANN prize winner, best in performance management, and third overall best in the November 2021 skills diet. Hi, my name is Osho Sonlua Femidam Lola, best in strategic financial management and overall best qualifying male candidate for May 2022 diet. Hi guys, my name is Kaleo Luatufumi. I'm an ICANN prize winner, best in case study and first overall best in professional level May 2022 diet. Hello everyone, I am Samuel Lamino, ICANN prize winner, the third overall best in the skill level May 2022 diet. And then there is me, Liki, and was recommended for the following ICANN prizes in the November 2022 exam, best in strategic financial management and third overall best in the professional stage of the ICANN November 2022 exams. Um, Tofumi will be telling us about the ICANN guide, CIG series, and why we put this recording together. And tell us what this series, what it's about, and what these recordings are all about, and how you can interact with it. So Tofumi, please. Hi guys, this is Kale Uluwa Tofumi Orel Uluwa. Please do not skip Please make sure you listen to this part of the recording as it will help you navigate every other part of the recording. Yeah, basically telling you what this recording is about. I'm very sure you're wondering what's this about. <laughs> Who are these people that are just... <laughs> yeah, okay, so the I Can Guide series, basically it is TIG for short. Yeah, it is more or less um, um a group of past ICANN prize winners coming together to share their reading method, study approach, whatever skill or whatever means they adopted in writing the exams. Yeah, nobody will be teaching you um, individual ICANN topics. It is not a tutorial. It is merely uh, a, an avenue for sharing various approaches that we adopted in writing our exams. Yeah uh if you're listening to this i assume you are already a registered icon student or rather you are planning to um take a step <laughs> to enroll in icon courses yeah or in the icon program sorry so whatever information you need you can always get it on the icon website i'm really sure it is user friendly Yes, whatever information you require. They also have lines that you could contact in places you're not clear. And then, so you know, it is just basically we sharing our ideas. And I hope you could learn a thing or two from it. Disclaimer, we are in no way affiliated with any ICANN body, institution, tutorial, whatsoever. We are in no way affiliated. And then... This is just simply us telling you our opinions on how you can pass your exams, how you can do the exams seamlessly without having to repeat a particular course, yeah, from our own experience without having to repeat a particular course or you wondering about it, like how do I go about this, how do I go about that. It's basically a guide that could help you. And whatsoever learning method you decide to use at the end of the day, 
it's it's i i really pray it works for you though nobody nobody wants to read and end up not passing you can adopt whatever method you want to adopt but then it's just more like a guide that could help you that could also enhance the method you decide to adopt whatever method you take is in your hands and i wish you huge success yeah but then if you think that someone that or a group of people that actually won a camp prizes they obviously they passed excellently could share ideas and then this is something you could learn from that you could adopt if you're an aspiring i can prize winner yeah the title is really <laughs> is really um what's the word it's really encouraging yeah and i would love to see more people winning prizes yeah basically as i've said earlier whatever questions you need to ask please contact the icon student affairs we won't be um, recording things based on that whatever you could get on the website you can always visit the west website yeah now that's it for disclaimer so uh okay let me give you a brief on how we came about this how we came about the tig i think sometimes in uh december 2022 they texted me on linkedin and it was like oh i told for me uh i have this in mind and i would love if you could join the project and yeah when he said it i thought it was it was a really good idea and i felt like oh okay this is good because i sometimes i have a lot of people texting and they're like oh okay how did you do this what did you do how this wow congratulations this is and things like that yeah and i'm like oh okay this is really nice i would love to be part of this project and then boom we agreed and then um i think about uh, a week or so later i found out that there were actually other prize winners <laughs> that were on this project too and i felt wow this is really amazing yeah so now that you know about the tig series yeah um i would like like to tell you how we we created this i would have loved to tell you really but then i won't be the only one talking so i would let uh rather i think like would put more put more light to it yeah so up to you like yeah thank you to for me that's why i put this together it's um straightforward and um it began in when i wrote my skills examination and um i started getting calls from people after i passed the five papers of the skills i can exam ask them questions like how did you do it? What did you do? What materials did you use from people that were just about to write the exams? Because people just, you know, want to know, okay, what? And people like to hear from someone that just wrote the exam. They're like, oh, what did you do? What, what material did you read? So people start asking me all those questions. I started getting a lot of those questions. So um, what I did was I remembered what my friend did for me. Um, I have a friend, Miss Oluchi Unamadim, a very good friend of mine, my senior um, from university. And... She also wrote the ICANN exam before I did, so she was pretty helpful and um, someone I always be grateful to. And what she usually do is we used to have this, she used to have this sort of, um, um, I don't know, like these interactive sessions where she talks about the courses she took. And let's just, she was a session ahead of me in school, so she told me, oh, this course, this course, or you could buy this textbook, get this material, I was in things like that and the same thing when I was about to write my ICANN exam she told me okay this course you could probably focus on this get this book it will help you focus on this topic read this start reading on time and others suggestions and counsel that really help you so that's what I did for the people asking me questions about my skills exam so what happened was someone asked me so I recorded um, a set of voice messages on whatsapp voice notes and I sent it to the person like okay for this course and you know, I think this is it I think you should study. This is what I studied. This is what I did. And I passed it if it will help you. So the person was like, wow, super grateful for this. Um, it really helps me. And then I got another question relating to the exam. I was like, am I going to? So I just sent the voice message I sent to the initial person. I sent it. I could just listen to all of this. They was like, wow, answered all my question. Thank you. 
Then the next question, I just kept sending those voice messages, the same one, and like answered my question, thank you. And so that was it. So fast forward to, I wrote the final stage of the exams and I passed. So those questions started coming in again. Oh, I got to write this exam, how do you pass? What should I study? What should I not study? I had this, and I'm someone that had like, I'm like still connected with a lot of friends from school, started accounting, so many people are trying to write the ICANN exam. So a lot of people still, you know, oh, how did you, how do you? So I thought about what I did in the skills exam. I just recorded and I kept sending it to people and it was helpful. So I was like, wait, why don't I just do this again? You know, make these recordings and send to people, just let them listen. So I thought about it and like, yes, good idea. Then I remembered, I had a friend, um, Caroline, we went to school together and she wrote the ICANN exam and she was recommended for ICANN prizes. So like, why should I record this alone when I know someone who has also excelled in this exam? Why don't I reach out to her and, you know, let's put something together and, you know, just share to people who have questions. So I realized why only two of us win, like there are a plethora of ICANN prize winners out there. So I said, okay, let's see how many people I can reach. So I went on LinkedIn majorly and I started messaging people um, who have written the exams or made a post about it and who are, who are recommended for prizes in the exam and I shared the idea with them and put in some things together, I didn't want to be part of it and all of them, none of them turned me down, wonderful people were like, let's do this, let's do this, let's help people, let's do this, let's do this and so that was why we created it and um, that's it, it's no more than that, just to help people, we are not, um, we are not educators, we are not starting a, a tuition center, we just want to put something else that you know, answers people's question in quotes. You know, something that answers people's question and that's it yeah so the icon guide tig series um has about over 20 episodes and what we did was that we just started thinking about the questions that people might have and we started answering them so um 20 um episodes and divided into three major sections um the general section which talks about just different questions people have was in the like an exam, questions concerning study approach, can I read on my own, you know, what mistakes should I not make, um, how do I get the ICANN scholarship, um, how did you study, and all those general questions, our time management, and those are, like, that's, those are the episodes we have in the general section. Then we have the second section, which is for the SKUs exam, just talks about those, those courses in the SKUs exam individually, and the final one, the professional section, and just a couple of episodes there too, talking about the courses in the professional level specifically and so that's it and that's it that's the story behind the icon guide i like to talk about the people that would have put this um work together wonderful people caroline chinaza chukwe Meka, femi and tofumi and samuel all wonderful people and putting this together with them was, was an amazing experience very great people and i I, do, I did not know any of them prior to this project and, and they were so so supportive and like putting so much effort to making this ready and you know yeah they are super great people and i guess this project is standing oh you're yeah, listening to this because of them yeah so talk for me i think this answers the question of why we put this um together what do you think yeah thank you Lika, for that so basically that's pretty much the introduction to the series please go through the series and listen to that which accrues to you whatever part you want to listen to the one that will be of more advantage to you please do listen to it and i hope and pray that this project serves its purpose and I love to see more, more, more and more ICANN members later in the future. Most especially people that listen to our, what I call it a podcast. It's more like a podcast that listen to this series. And yeah, I wish you good luck and I wish you success. And I pray and hope that your efforts would not be in vain. Yeah. Please do not be discouraged. Whatever obstacles, whatever challenge you face, please do not be discouraged. Rather, be encouraged. I wish you success. Bye, guys.